Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we have a fancy European SUV 2011 Porsche Cayenne V8, uh, 4.8 liter, direct injected. The customer complaint is at idle, sometimes it kind of hesitates, runs rough, check engine lights on, uh, on the highway drives perfectly fine. Two codes stored, P1070, mass airflow at idle speed and plausibility low. P0068, mass airflow implausible. Okay, so this engine, it does not have a mass airflow sensor. It does have the MAP sensor, manifold absolute pressure back here. So the parts that he's tried already is new MAP sensor, he replaced the PCV breather. He replaced the, the purge solenoid, spark plugs. He did a smoke check on the intake. That didn't show anything. He cleaned out the throttle body. Again, no change. So, let's, before we look up any service info, let's look up some um, live data. So, these are the OEM uh, parameters and let's look at load calculation so right now this is the data fit I think that's setting this code correction of factor mass airflow look minus 22 percent so this airflow here that's a calculated value and we'll look at the trouble code description but something's not adding up. We have a 22% discrepancy between the calculated and the, you know, whatever, actual or expected value. Let's see if this number right here changes when we put this engine under load. So I'm just going to power break it here lightly. So we're at minus 22%. I'm going to put it in gear. Fancy, fancy. And just step on the gas a little bit. See your airflow go up and the correction factor does decrease. Uh, you know, 12% there. Goes down to minus 25. So I'll take a snapshot of that. What are the most likely culprits here? I do want to check the throttle body, even though you know owner said he cleaned it. Sometimes the cleaning has to be more, uh, you know, thorough. Before we clean the throttle body, we can look at throttle valve values. And right now at idle, TPS is saying we're about 2.8 percent. Okay, so that's might be normal. But after cleaning, we can go back to the, this data and say before and after, did we make a change? Let's go on all data, look up these trouble codes, see how the computer, you know, what the computer is looking for, how it calculates this expected versus actual, and why there's a, there could be a discrepancy. By the way, we also want to look at all the temperatures, you know, the coolant, air, oil, Let's see here, 221 engine specified temperature, engine temperature measured, temperature radiator outlet, that's reasonable, engine oil, intake air, start temperature for intake air, ambient temp, engine compartment, engine temperature sensor, da -da -da -da, map control thermostat activation, map thermostat adaptation value, control unit temperature, so those look pretty reasonable. All right, so let's look up these trouble codes. P0068, mass airflow implausible. One or more additional faults are entered that are more precisely indicated operating ranges in which the fault occurred. So basically this is saying there's a general problem with the mass airflow calculation and range near idle speed is what we see on the scanner, P1070. That's the other trouble code that's stored. So we go to P1070, mass airflow, uh, implausible too low leakage adaptation. 
So it seems like if there's a vacuum leak, this will upset this calculation. So idle speed, greater than two minutes, trip with different operating conditions. None of the following faults stored. So it looks at all the sensors, make sure there's no circuit faults with the map or um, you know, the throttle, ambient pressure, intake air, speed sensor, valve lift, camshaft adjustment, intake pipe, um, you know, the flapper for the variable intake. So we don't have any of those codes and the values on scan data look reasonable. Now, possible fault causes. Throttle adjusting unit soiled. So dirty throttle body, that's a possibility. We're, we're gonna check that first. Exhaust system blocked, unlikely. The car drives fine on the highway, but we'll take it for a test drive. Intake manifold pressure sensor, electrical plug connection loose, oxidized, corroded, and erupted. Again, unlikely. And the sensor has been replaced with an OEM. Tank vent faulty. Uh, that's the, the purge solenoid, so it could be leaking through there, like a you know, vacuum leak. Or fault in area, map, throttle, ambient pressure, intake air temp, speed sensor, valve lift control, camshaft adjustment, intake pipe switch over. Okay. Fault setting conditions, impermissibly large deviation of the measured air mass from the calculated air mass. Uh-huh. In this diagnosis, the intake system between the throttle valve and the engine intake valve is monitored. A mass airflow is calculated from the signals from the throttle potentiometer, it's a TPS, the engine speed sensor, okay, intake air temperature sensor, and ambient pressure sensor, as well as other engine operating values. The calculated mass airflow is compared with that measured by the pressure sensor, that's the map. So that's interesting. It's like a rationality check. It looks at the map sensor and then makes a calculation based on the other sensors and those have to match. Deviation may be due to both the calculated mass airflow and the measured mass airflow. So this is great information. Um, let's start with the basics. Take off the intake hose, look at the throttle body, make sure it's spotless and if it needs to be cleaned we'll do that. Rerun the test and we know what data pits to look for. We'll go from there. Okay, so here's the throttle body. Yeah, it. I'd say there's quite a bit of carbon there and on the top. So let's clean this out and then rerun our checks. See what um, if the TPS angle changes and if that mass airflow deviation percent uh, changes at all. See if the carbon comes off friendly. Yeah, so the owner said he cleaned the throttle body, but it doesn't look like it on the paper towel. Well, let's see here. That's looking much better. He said his fuel economy decreased on the highway from 28 to 21 miles per gallon. That's a very substantial decrease. So I don't know if that's related or not. Maybe if the code sets it goes into some other default mode or strategy for the fuel map. So that's looking much, much cleaner. So no hard deposits, but they all wiped out with the Cleaner. You can see that nice and shiny. Let me do the top. We'll rerun the test. Alright, so throttle body is back together. Let's start it up and look at our live data. Data stream. Let's look at the throttle valve, see if any of this changed. Uh, looks about the same. 
mixture formation, I don't know, load detection. Well, look at that, 6%. I think it's fixed, Ilya. <laughs> Look, it, five, six percent, not 25 anymore. Well, let's clear the codes, take this thing for a test drive. So this, this has proved to me that we definitely made a big difference. You want me to erase all the codes? Yeah, you can clear them all. Okay, let's clear them all out. Let's turn the engine off. Turn the key on. Just say clear DTCs. Let's see, how many computers does this thing have? Million. Uh, <laughs> 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, twenty-eight. Not even thirty computers. All right. The only two codes remaining is our alarm siren faulty. Okay. Let's take it for a test drive. All right. So we're cruising, driving perfect. Let's do a little acceleration. I, I don't expect AMG level of performance, but it should still be pretty good. Big heavy SUV. That's it's pretty nice. So the owner is monitoring the correction factor. We're at about 13, 11 percent. If I let off the throttle, single digits. So we'll we'll go around the block and make sure no trouble code set. I, I think this this Porsche is fixed. <clears throat> it's a thing of beauty. The Porsche is fixed. The owner's gonna be happy. No parts required. Just one hour diagnostics, and this is a pretty, uh, pretty nice ride. I'm not gonna lie. It gets like 20. How much did you get on the highway? 28 miles per gallon, almost. If it's running good. Yeah, about 28. Yeah, um, that's a lot better than my little dinky V6 Suzuki. <laughs> um, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.